I have lots to show you, so please stick around. The first thing I want to show you is starting January 5th, celebration starts. With every $50 order, you can get a free item. Some of the items at the back are $100 items, like this Berry Bliss stamp set. It's super cute. I haven't been able to play with this yet. And the paper. Now look at the paper in the catalog. Now look at the paper in real life. Is that gorgeous or what? It has pretty, pretty colors on the other side. See, this couldn't be in black and white. We needed it in color. Here's some blueberries. We tried to grow blueberries last year, didn't we? We did. We actually grow strawberries, raspberries the most, and strawberries. We have a strawberry bed. But last year we planted our first blueberry bush. We haven't gotten any blueberries yet. Here's some. Oh, I ate them, honey. Oh, wait, we did get blueberries? <laughs> we did. I thought we didn't get any. We got raspberries and strawberries too. Did you see those? No, I did not. <laughs> so I believe in the Henny Penny model. If, if I'm going to go outside and, and pick it first and, well, he probably planted it, but I did everything else maybe that I should get to eat them. So I would recommend if you have a $100 order getting this Berry Blessings. Now, the next thing I want to show you is this is a mini paper pumpkin box. And I'll show you where they are in the catalog. This is a great deal and for giving gifts, it's awesome. It's $7.50 and you get 10 of these boxes. It's on page 152 of the annual catalog. I could put a lot of fudge in that box. You could. You know, maybe these should be next year's fudge boxes. Well, it depends how they, good everybody is. <laughs> they would be bigger than the pizza boxes you're currently giving out. In fact, do you want to go get the pizza box off the counter? My Bible study fellowship gals in my group were the first people to get fudge this year. But others are coming. Steve made some more last night. This was the first version of the fudge box this year. The Hark the Herald Angels Sing is silver embossed. And that came from... This set, For Unto Us, this is a stamp set that's carrying over to next year, which I can, I'm glad it is. It's beautiful. And then this has the heartwarming hugs paper that also carried over. So this was designed when I didn't know what was carrying over, but I picked some good ones. And Marceline was sweet and helped me make these. Thank you, marvelous Marceline. Oh, do I have to show them what's inside? Okay. What's inside is Steve's fudge. And the boxes are three by three, so I try to cut the fudge so it's about that big. If you cut individual pieces of fudge, it's more likely going to be dry when they get it. So I cut one hunk and put saran wrap around it, put it in here, and then when I gift this to people, the pizza box just closes like that. When I gift this to pizza, people, pizzas, I tell them, you know, after you eat the fudge, you can put a necklace or a small AirPods, maybe <laughs> something small in the box and then pass it on to the next person. So recycle the gift box, but good job on your fudge. So who wants the mini pizza box to be next year's fudge? <laughs> that would be even bigger. That's not the mini pizza box. Though. Oh, this is the mini or the, what's it called? Mini paper pumpkin box. Okay, to decorate the top of this, I want to do it simple because we have gifts to wrap and things to do. So this is three and three fourths by five. And I'm just going to glue this to the top of the box. Do you like this paper, hun? I do like the paper. Mary wanted to know if we keep the fudge refrigerated. It is best to keep it refrigerated, but if you do, you have to make sure and cover it with um, Saran wrap. Plastic wrap because it'll dry out in the refrigerator. It'll dry out anywhere if it's not wrapped in yeah, Saran wrap. Yeah, you need to wrap it up good. And tell them what you do when you first make the fudge. Well, when I first make the fudge, you can't really do anything with it till it cools off. So in the winter, I take it out in the garage and put it in my workbench in the garage. Can I stop you for a minute? Okay, so I got the, the DSP just glued onto the top of the box. 
And then one of my favorite sentiment sets is this Peaceful Moments. And I stamped, I embossed, so I stamped with Versamark. Life is better with a friend like you. And then I put white embossing powder and heated it. And then I cut that out using the Tasteful Labels dies. These are dies I just recently got, and I love all the different shapes, and I can cut out sentiments of any size. I popped this up on dimensionals. Also notice the other sayings. I'm going to use this a lot today. Happy birthday. Thank you. It's just a beautiful, beautiful set. Okay, honey, so then what do you do with your fudge? So then I bring it in the house again, and I immediately cover it up with plastic wrap so it doesn't dry out. And then I wait for my wife to cut it. Yeah, I, I cut it, but this year I'm not eating fudge. I'm on a low glycemic diet, and so I have to, like, wear a nose plug <laughs> to cut the fudge. Okay, that's it to decorate it. You could put a bow. I thought about putting a ribbon across it, but I didn't want them to tear the box apart because this way they could open it up, get their note cards out, and store their note cards in the box, right? So here's some of the note cards and I'll show you from easy. The easiest is this one. It's simply stamped on white cardstock and then punched out with one of the punches. That one is called Label Me Fancy. This one I stamped on white cardstock and I used the new punch. You guys really want the new punch. It is called the double oval punch, and you get the regular oval and also the scalloped. So on this one, I popped the white layer up on dimensionals, then I popped out the scallop Pacific point and added it on there. And then for the third layer, I did heat embossing. So I just took a strip of the color, this is Poppy Parade, and I did, I had it all the way down, and I heat embossed. That's one thing, if you're gonna do a set of note cards like this, do it in batches. So I had a strip of the Poppy Parade and did all the heat embossing. A strip, this is Rich Razzleberry and Pacific Point. And then it's easier to pick what you want. And I have some more options to show you. If you don't have the first sentiment set I showed you, consider this one. This is new in the catalog that's coming out January 5th. The most gorgeous artistic flowers are in here, but look closely, there's awesome sentiments in here. And on the dies that go with it, there's two different dies to cut the short sentiment and the long. So I went through and could cut out two words at once because that does take a little bit longer than doing the punches. So this is what you end up with. And then I wanted it backed with something, so I took a half inch strip of cardstock. And then I'm gonna use my little poker. Just grab it and put some dimensionals on these long ones. You probably need three. Steve's over here going, where's the part where I get to talk? <laughs> I'm just waiting. Okay. Patiently. Okay. So then I just popped it up on the strip. I think this is cute, though. We haven't had anything like this. And then I just took my scissors and cut off the end. Isn't that easy? So. I really like it. And I like the backing and the dimensional. Do you? Yeah. Yeah, it looks good. It looks good popped up. Now, let me show you an easy way. Hey, can I have that paper trimmer? You can. Under your iPad? And while you're getting it, I'm going to say hi to Bridget from North Carolina. Hi, Bridget. And I think Bridget wants to know what a person has to do to get fudge. To get fudge? Well, the ladies in my Bible study fellowship group get fudge. The gals on my Stamping Mom Joy team get fudge. Which is an awesome thing to be a part of, by the way. And we are starting a new community in the new year. And do they all get fudge too, Steve? It depends. How many of them How there are? How many of them there are, because there's only so much fudge in the world. Uh, 
Did I, I showed all the, yep. the DSP. Um, so I don't know, that isn't a very good answer, is it, Bridget? I think that we need to recruit people onto your team by offering them fudge. <laughs> well, they do get fudge. And a wonderful ZD dinner usually in December. Okay, to cut this paper, this is the easiest way to do it. And you'll want to batch this again. Actually, I have two papers. I can do that. With the trimmer, you can cut two layers of designer series paper at a time. And if you shut your arm on your trimmer, it's exactly six inches, so it makes it really easy to cut these. Just line it up at the top. Can you see the top of the trimmer? And the side. Okay, so that's six inches. What I'm going to do is move over to a half an inch and I'm going to cut strips off of one side of the paper. And then I'm going to move over a half an inch again. So I've cut off two half inch strips. Now what I have left measures five inches by six inches. So put the six inch side at the top and line it up at three over here and we're just gonna cut this in half. And that's it. That is all you need to make these note cards. Now let me show you how easy it is to put them together. Even if you are not a crafter already, but I'm thinking you want to be, right? These note cards and envelopes, it's about $7, I think. Do you want to find it in here? Oh, here they are, I think. They are right here on page 153. You get 20 cards and 20 envelopes, and it's $7. So it's a great deal. So I started with this, and now we need to pick, I'm going to pick one of the patterns I haven't used yet haven't used this one so I do that is that your favorite no but I thought it was the same one but I it's no, not it's not They're this all one different. has more blue on it which makes it my favorite okay so I put the three inch by five inch card on here and then I take the strip and put it here now you can do it either way as you can see on this card I put the strip by the fold and then the big part over here. On this card, I put the big part here and this strip on the edge. You also can have them horizontal and vertical. So you can make them all different ways, which makes it fun. So I'm gonna make this one like this. And the easiest way, I could even have you making these for me, hun. <laughs> I, maybe I could have handled this. I probably would have put it on crooked though, because if there's a well, way to mess it up, I usually find it. No, if you use, liquid glue I think that's the answer on this one okay because you have wiggle room so I'm gonna put it on right next to the fold and then I'm gonna put the other side of the paper you can use any paper if the other side of the paper doesn't match yep it's not there yet is it so I'm gonna wiggle it around till it matches and if it didn't quite like if it's a little too long then you just trim it off when you get done. Okay, so see I just MacGyvered it into place and then you cut off the strip because the strip is always going to be that much too long. Okay, so what should we do with this one? We need a sentiment. I didn't do green ones. Do you think blue would look good on this? I think blue would look good. Or we could do happy birthday. Yeah, put that on there. Do you guys like that? And like I said, you can make these as easy or difficult as you want. But if you're making several sets, why not make them easy? Well, I think if, particularly if you're going to crank them out because you want to give them to people as gifts. Well, what's, the, what's the date, honey? Is it time for me to start cranking things out? <laughs> it is the 16th of December, which means you have nine days until Christmas Day itself. Yeah. So all I've had some gifts show up at the front door. And how many people have I had a gift ready for them? Except for the BSF fudge people. Not too many. I'm actually working on team gifts today. What does Bridget say? 
Bridget says she's already a pal, so I can't join your team. And I live a bit far away to be in the Bible study. Although, if you were doing Bible study via Zoom, then that wouldn't be a problem. Do, is that what Bridget said? No, I'm just adding that part. Okay. She says, no fudge for me. No fudge for you. You can join our community, Bridget, when we get that started. What do you guys think? Do you have a favorite? These are super easy. Now I'm going to take my box again. If you came in after I did that, I just put DSP on the top and popped up a sentiment. And then I would just take the cards and envelopes and put them in here. And don't you think this is a sweet gift? I do. I like it that they fit in the box. Yeah. They are perfect, as you can see, for the mini paper pumpkin box. And look, it's it's wrapped. I would give it like this, wouldn't you? Yeah. You. It's not like you have to wrap it, too. So anyway, that... Maybe put a bow around it for the wrapping part. Yeah, you could put it in a plastic bag and put a bow on that. You know why he's thinking that? I've been working on teen gifts today, and he's been watching. Don't say what it is. I, I won't, but I've been... I've been, she's been asking me to help pick out ribbon, which I feel completely <laughs> inadequate to do. I do know the colors are supposed to somewhat match. Yeah. That's about all I know. So back to the celebration brochure. All of this starts January 5th. And, oh, one other thing I forgot to tell you. My host code, V is in victory, V93QMMF. If you order from me $50 or more in December, a great big bundle. Do you remember my Ornate Garden bundle and Autumn bundle? Huge 60, 80 tutorials. New one's coming out January 5th. And everyone who orders in December will get that bundle free. So, so Bridget, I think, makes a good point. And the question is, the, the card stock that, or the, the cards that were in here, mm -hmm. are they part of the problem with the white card stock? With the Whisper White? They probably are. But Bridget, I am assuming they're going to come out with basic white. The colors are changing. And I think it's going to come out with basic white as soon as they get that. Mary said Merry Christmas. You know, thank you thank you all for watching. I hope you have a blessed Christmas. Steve and I will actually be back next Wednesday if you'll come join us. It'll have to be Christmas themed. It'll be Christmas. Steve Maybe. will wear an elf costume. Um, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 how do they know I'm not wearing one right now? <laughs> have, a, have a great week, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.